off days, and we think the recent storms will affect future investment in the resort. Also, Bear pays the effort for the people of the right and the other area to come out the following day as we go to the resort. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. A uh, question for Councillor Hackett on the International Festival of Business. A uh, small paragraph there, Councillor Hackett. Can you throw any more meat on the bone as to where these events might be? Uh, will they simply be in the Birkenhead area or will they extend out throughout the different constituencies in the world so that everyone in the world can uh, reap the benefits of uh, what should be a really good event? Thanks, uh, Mr. Mayor. If, 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 if um, entwine both uh, Councillor uh, Ray's question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You jumped up before I finished. I was up here. You got a piece there. Councillor Price has a question. Sorry. Please. Three questions. Thank you, sir. Uh, I am the chairman of the Alliance uh, referred to supporting blocking the key drug short project. Uh, 
know, restaurants and investors across the way as a result of that. And I think it's fair to say all this has happened to Philip in a time of economic downturn, which is a great credit to this council to be able to pursue this scheme, which really is yeah, succeeding at the present moment. Um, needless to say, as well, Mr Mayor, it's created, again, uh, very successfully, 950 jobs to date, local jobs for rural people. It's also looking at um, bringing in uh, a, a additional um, um, investments for 24 farms on the land adjacent to the floor of the Brilliant Theatre, um, um, 1.3 million highway improvements along the promenade, which is also to see Victoria Road, the main, the, the old main shopping area opened up, which would increase the, the footfall, I'm sure, in the area. But it, the development has in turn attracted over 300,000 additional visitors, which is, which is generated uh, 600, six, sorry, 6 million spent in the visitor economy. And it's now, Marine Point itself is now running at 92% occupancy with operating op 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 um, that business is far exceeding the, the trading uh, trade targets. So the, the recent storms, Mr. Mayor, which um, Councillor uh, Fraser mentioned, has uh, also not dampened the difficult expectations or deter future investors along uh, the moving Marine Point. As it's back over the record of time, thanks to the great efforts of everyone concerned, a real team effort, particularly with the council with Mark Avon and the team, I think a credit to them. So the success is a credit uh, to this council. We rise in time of uh, economic downturn and it bodes well for the future as we look to build on the current momentum to ensure we continue to attract investment jobs and create a modern pride and put the resource that, 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 that is um, that we ought to be proud of. Uh, in terms of, in terms of, just going back on Councillor Fraser's uh, question, in terms of, 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 of the flooding, I mean, I mean, the, the, the experts did say that there wasn't that much wrong with the actual sea defences. And don't forget, the original scheme had, had a much better sea defences. Unfortunately, we, we, we didn't go ahead and said early with that. But, but, but and I mean, there are major improvements going on and have happened along uh, their stretch uh, in terms of in terms of their work in Boston Village. In Bay Water Road, which is going to help in terms of the traffic, that's for sure. I think the graduates of the World Council as well are pushing for that. Uh, but that that's going to make a big difference. But what, what I really do think it needs the experts to be looking at that rather than me answering quite well uh, in terms of the sea defences and how, and how that's affected the area. And you mentioned about the green fields being, being uh, full of water, but if you cast your mind back to 1990, the last time we had a storm of this magnitude, the green were full of water. What was destroyed? I will get more information to you on that. Uh, uh, the, the other questions uh, uh, asked were from uh, Councillor Hale. Excuse me, just answer the question about the dips. Why are you going to concrete them over? Can I say regarding regarding that question, which is one of those trick questions that the Tories like to ask? Well, let me explain why it is. Facts of the matter. What we actually said wasn't what we were supposed to pay for. What we said was additional, additional parking needs to be created along the embankment, uh, the railway embankment, on the flat base underneath the railway embankment, which is smuggler's way. And that happens frequently during the summer months due to the success of the right developments. When I, I think those who try to get into these right during the summer, when it was really nice. Couldn't get in. I'm sure that way for any other road, by the way, is going to help. But it's back up with enough on the motorway for it to be in here. So that's the actual uh, answer to that question. Well, I just told you. I just told you the answer. Yes or no? In terms of in terms of Councillor Hale with the um, with the Swiss 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 sit down. Three times about that. to 
find the development, should I say, to build a luxury hotel, uh, restaurant, health, place, and conference facility, plus an internationally acclaimed golf course. The land that the council had was earmarked by the council uh, uh, to be the home of the golf resort. It's close to the Royal Liverpool Golf Club in Hoylake, which will see the open repair for us next year. Uh, at the start of the procurement process, there was an incredibly exciting step forward, I believe, in our future as a landmark destination for golf tourism. It's going to be hugely exciting, I believe, to see who bids to partner with and the ideas they have for the site. The pre qualification period for the potential development has now ended, and the authority council ahead is currently prepared to show this possible candidates. We have had a positive response, I can tell, to our request for submissions of detailed interest and the opportunity develop a world-class golf resort in Hoylake and will now, with the help of our advisory team, undertake a period of close evaluation to assess the bids of the FTC. As a council, we are confident that with a suitable development partner in place, we can deliver a top-class golf resort that will build on the confidence generated by hosting such prestigious, prestigious championships at the Open, the Rico Women's um, British Open, as well as Hoylake Youth Golf in Edinburgh. Uh, this is, as I say, a very exciting opportunity, but a unique opportunity for the hotel and golf and golf and golf to be part of the village which has uh, achieved golf. There is a gap, I would say, in the market for a scale resort sort of this nation, by the way, uh, In terms of uh, the question, more pertinent question you asked, in terms of um, uh, more detail, uh, um, at the Leaders Board last Friday, it was agreed that war council would be consulted on the Holy Land Golf Resort. And as that develops, there needs to be more detailed conversation with all members, just like there was in the United States and the United But it's, it's, a, it's, it's very early days, so that conversation will be important. Yeah, of course, that's what I was saying. Okay. Thank you. Uh, last question. Last question. Last question. Last question.
where people have gone to tattooists, for example, who are not licensed, and then they suffer real medical problems as a direct result. In fact, only a couple of months ago, uh, I went to visit uh, a tattoo parlour, I think it was in Council of Rivers' own constituency, in Bowley Road in Walton, where they are, if you like, a shining example of exactly how a tattoo parlour should operate. They are fully licensed, and there's been no problems at all with any people that have gone there. So it's a question of getting the balance, but I do take your point. On the, on the last question, which was Councillor and Walter Smith one, um, about home composting, yeah, again, going back to when we introduced the charges for garden waste last year, one of the things that we spelled out loud and clear in all our messages to the public is that we wanted to encourage as many people as possible to go down the road of home composting, particularly those people who never considered it in the past. And again, I'm very pleased to report that that has been very successful because even over the last few, the last few weeks, uh, we've actually sold over 500 compost bins to people who've never had them before, who've never been involved in home composting, and that figure of over 500 bins is a lot more than, we, than we've had even over the last four or five years. So again, we can't be complacent, Mr Mayor, on the question of home composting, but I think it's something that we've got to keep driving forward, and because it ticks all the boxes, and hopefully as time goes on, more and more people within the world will realise the real benefits of home composting. So it's something that we're going to continue to put out as part of all our literature. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the Council to note that report. Yeah. The next one is in relation to uh, portfolio for governance and improvement. Are there any questions?
this process is quite a complex process. It's quite an involved uh, 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 process to go through, particularly involved if um, national museums are going to get uh, going to play a part in it. Um, and also, given the experience of other councils that have uh, transferred their museums to various groups, various trusts, etc., um, will the will you uh, my, my question is, uh, will you monitor closely these activities and will you give an assurance that if it so proves that actually achieving the 250,000 savings next year is going to be difficult to do, you will look for other savings and other mechanisms maybe to phase the rate at which we achieve those savings? Bradley Cemetery is a site of extreme importance to where it sits on the north of Bradley Conservation Area. <laughs> it's upkeep needs to remain a priority. 